Welcome to Undead Stephanie's Horror Comic Reviews for Horror News Network. This review is for Veil, number one, from Dark Horse Comics, with story by Greg Rucka and art by Tony Fedzula. The book was released in March of 2014 and is generally about a girl who wakes up naked in an abandoned subway station and when men try to hurt her, they find themselves hurt. If the premise doesn't bring you in, well, the naked woman throughout half the book very well might. I mentioned that this book was written by Greg Rucka, and this is exciting because this is a name we don't usually hear in horror. A lot of people will recognize him from other books like Queen and Country or maybe even the, the latest book he's got out, Lazarus, uh, but definitely not horror. So this is a great writer and this is a great opportunity to check out some of his work if you're a horror only fan and haven't come across him yet. Tony Fedzula, I think, is my new favorite artist. The work in this book is just absolutely fantastic. It's I really like the use of geometry in this, and strangely, it makes me think of Picasso. So I think if Picasso were alive today and doing horror comics, this is exactly what it would look like. This is definitely something you guys want to check out, and definitely something I want to see more of where it goes. Now, this first issue of Veil vale is I'm gonna call sort of horror light. It is not real gory or bloody. There's a little bit in it, but not what we may expect from a lot of horror comics. But Dark Horse does have this listed as horror. So I am gonna trust them on that because by now they have got horror down. Overall, I'm gonna give this first issue of Veil vale an eight out of 10 and recommend that all of you pick it up and give it a try and Maybe consider uh, pulling out some of these pages and putting them up on your walls. Really, guys, they look that good. Thank you for listening, and remember to check out horrornewsnetwork.net for all of your horror comic reviews.